everyone welcome to this video in this video we will discuss how we can use custom themes in canvas apps right so in canvas apps we have themes available right so that are the out of the box themes that you can use but what if you want to uh, use your own theme let us go and see what is theme and what we are going to create now let's say this is your uh, this is your power apps right if you open any canvas app let me open a canvas app let's say this is my canvas app if i will go to the canvas app and in the edit mode you can see the canvas of uh, the uh, theme option is available at the left side right and in the theme you can choose one of the theme so that the styles and the component design or uh, component uh, styles will be uh, implemented automatically to the controls that you have added to the screens now in this tutorial in this uh, class we will see how we can use our custom theming right here you can see this is my app and here you can see the different types of uh, themes available right now in, in addition to this if you want to create your own theme how you can do this is called as custom theming right let's say i want to add a button for example so this is the button right now if you want to change the theme here using this option you can see the uh, theme get change changes right now the button color changes automatically because of this theme right now i want to do so how this changes because something has been designed in these themes so that the components that you are adding to your uh, canvas app automatically changes so we will see how we can create our own theme okay so we have many steps to do this let me uh, let me go and uh, tell you the first step the first step is you have to go to power uh, admin center power platform admin center so the url is admin.powerplatform.com right and in the admin.powerplatform.com you have to uh, create an environment if you have not if you are already using then go to that environment if you are not using it create a new environment and do your uh, work so click on new environment i am creating a new environment let's say uh, theme environment I can take a trial version then I can create next and click on I can choose whether I want uh, uh, Dynamics 365 apps or not click on save now my environment is going to create now so this is my environment and it will take some couple of seconds to uh, become ready right i have already to install uh, two environments and this environment is going to ready in short while so try refreshing this so it will take some couple of seconds now it is running now it is ready right now i can go and create so you also create a new environment otherwise you can use your uh, existing environment also no issue so once this is done the next thing is you have to click on this environment and go to settings and in the settings you have to enable the custom component publishing option feature click on the product click on the features and the feature option you will find there is option called as allow publishing of canvas apps with code components click on this option enable this and click on save so this is the first step that you have to enable the power platform admin allow publishing feature of the canvas apps core components once it is done you have to you have to download the uh, coe starter kit theming solution from microsoft the, this is the url http aka.ms slash coe starter kit download click on this 
in the browser so that it will download the starter kit I have saved in my desktop now once it is downloaded I will go here so this is the starter kit that is downloaded I can uh, extract here so this is extracted and now you can see there are so many uh, there are so many files are available here right and I have to use some files I'll tell you how it is used now once you extracted it the next thing is you have to import the solution you will see there is a managed solution this is the managed solution that is available here called as theming 2.4 underscore managed dot zip and I, I want to go to the solution area of the environment so this is my environment and I will go to make.powerapps.com okay the make.powerapps.com I will choose my environment this is my theme environment and here I will go to the solution and I will import the solution I will browse the solution and go to the extracted files there are so many zip files just use the theming 2.4 dot managed zip click on open and click on next we are trying to import the managed solution provided by theming solution by Microsoft College Center of Excellence theming solution now click on import now once you import it will try to import your solution uh, and it will take at least two to three minutes so let us wait now the solution is ready right the theming solution is imported successfully this is available here and once it is installed if you go to apps you can see some of the related apps that are part of the theming solution is imported can you see that this canvas apps called as uh, coe theme editor is available for use which is a part of theming solution coe theme gallery which is also a part of theming solution and app template phone and app template uh, tablet and shared component library this uh, five uh, canvas apps are installed is because of the solution we have imported now we will see how it works click on this uh, uh, click on this theme editor coe theme editor and once the theme editor will open i can create new themes so this theme editor is a canvas app that can be used to create new themes now there is no custom themes now i can click on create new themes i can give a name here now it is trying to create a custom theme for me now theme is created new theme I can click on edit once we edit all the components like buttons text inputs and you know uh, the stars and uh, headers are available here and you can change the color share by using the the theme colors give a name here let's say sub chief uh, theme okay I'm giving a name as soft chip theme and here you can change the colors if you don't if you want to set a primary color as uh, uh, not white then you can just choose uh, let's say change to uh, something else let's say blue color so this is the primary color you can change let's say I want to change this primary color to value which is the uh, foreground I can change it to something which is blue so it will give a nice theming for your application right now I have given so my theme is ready now once it is ready I can also use radius value if you if I want so that see it will be applied to the input radius and I can also set the paddings, you know, or text emphasis, many things are there. Now, once you have given, if you want to uh, use, once you have defined the styles, next you have to publish this theme because first save it, then you can publish it. Now, let me change again, it is reverted for some reason. 
okay and i want to so let's keep it like this click on publish theme as soon as you click publish theme you will see it is trying to uh, get some data as a app template phone dot ms app right now click on complete once you clicked complete the next thing is you have to click on edit now click on settings and the settings we need two things one is app template another is app template tablet so where you get this you have to go to your power apps and you can see this app click on this option and click on edit so we have to edit these two apps which is available for templates so i'm trying to change the template which are available in my solution now this is the solution now you have to go to the app then go to on start in the on start you have to set the theme name as the new name you have given shop chief theme okay now once you have given this name you have to save this theme in local machine click on file click on save as and click on the computer and download now let me store in the desktop so i have used the phone template now i will go back go back again choose the tablet one right so i will use this so th these are the steps that you have to follow click on the edit now click on the open app now again go to the app and go to on start function and here you have to set the same theme sub chief theme right so once you have given this sub chief theme you have to go to file and go to save as select the computer so that i can download the app so this is the template templates that we are downloading once it is done i will just go back and i will go to navigate to the coe theme editor here you will find there are two options available you have to upload that ms app uh, that we have downloaded so click on this phone template choose the phone template this one this is the phone template i have do just downloaded like that choose table template tablet template once both is done you have to click on complete now the theme is, theme is set automatically right now what we have to do when if we want to use this theme you have to go to power apps and click on new power apps new canvas apps let's give a name let's say uh, mobile app and click phone click on create and when you are trying to create this canvas apps if you want to use the custom theme that you have created you have to go to file click on open and browse this time you have to use this templates that we have downloaded right if it is phone layout use phone lay template ms app if it is tablet use tablet ms app let me use this phone tablet phone ms app click on so you have unsaved changes don't save now it will open the template and the styles for me now if i will drag any component 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 let me drag some uh, rectangle here so this rectangle i am trying to 
design can you see that the rectangle is automatically uh, giving as gray color so how it is done because of this theme if you click on edit you can see right here is the gray color that's why it is applied here now if i want to drag and drop some text labels it will automatically give you the styles so let me give here my app i can change the color here right i can drag some buttons also now can you see that i am not changing any style it is automatically connecting to my custom theme that i have used right i can drag some text box also input text box right so like that i can design my own app and i can design my own theme that will depend on the custom style right can you see that the background and the button is changed it's because of this style you have implemented that's why it is working right if you want to update what how you want to update let me change something here and try to save it so i'm trying to update some styles here okay now once it is updated i can go to settings and again close close it and upload the themes uh, upload the templates same way and complete it now it is done theme is done now i'll again go here to the app and try to open it because i want to implement the uh, style right so i will just open file again i will open here click on browse click on this phone and i don't want to save i have updated the style so i am expecting this at uh, this time new styles so i'll go to this option app and go to on start again give my style already given style now if i'll drag some buttons i'm expecting the style should be updated let me drag a button here can you see that now this is blue color if i'll drag some rectangles like this right you can drag some text labels and you can drag some text inputs can drag some slider so all these styles that you have added will be display here right right so i hope you understand how you can use your custom uh, theme by using coe center of excellence theme editor uh, and you can use your custom themes and try on your own and use it in your application thank you guys and also remember that if you are creating the uh, tab device application you have to use this uh, uh, for tab theming this one app template for tablet you have to use as because i have used phone template so that's why i have used that one if you want to check the device you want to create a tablet device you have to use that template okay so thank you guys i hope it helps I'll see you in next video. If you have not subscribed, subscribe the channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.